So today we are looking at how to master the perfect sniper entries when you're trading binary option. And this is the next chapter. I just want to dive in straight into it and show you the exact things that you're supposed to do. So this is your chart. And most of people, what they usually do is when it comes to trading binary options is they usually trade the one minute chart, the one minute chart. Okay, this is not the one minute chart. So the disadvantage of this is the one minute chart is very, very, very volatile, okay? So if you do want the next, uh, the last video that I did whereby I was showing you trends and price action, those are the main things that you're supposed to really be focusing on to be able to identify some sniper entries that you can actually use when it comes to, when it comes to actually getting the perfect trade either to put up, uh, either to decide if the price is going high or the price is going low. So. What we're going to look at here is we're going to take a look at um, different things. So these are the things that we looked on the last video. Just click on the top below on the button below and you'll be able to take a look at the previous video that we did on the uptrend, the downtrend and the price action because it's a continuation to this video. So today we're really focusing on multi-time frame analysis. On the multi-time frame analysis, this is whereby you start by looking at the higher time frame to really identify the exact price action of the currency that you're actually looking to trade in terms of binary option. So for example, we'll take a look, we'll take a look at these different time frames. We'll start with the four hours time frame, go down to the one hour time frame, and then go to the 15 minutes time frame. And we don't want to do this, okay? Traders create opinions on the lower time frames, which are very, very, very volatile. They go up, down, sideways. You really don't know exactly how. You really don't know exactly where this is going. Right in the in the lower time frame, it is very, very, very volatile. So traders create opinions on the lower time frames and then just try to find reasons that support their opinion on the higher time frames avoid fixed mindset thinking and start on the higher time frames and i'm going to be jumping directly into the charts right now and show you exactly how you can do this when you are actually analyzing um your markets in different um in, in in different assets so for example you have the audi card you have the euro usd you have the euro g BP. So let's take a look at first. What do you take a look at? What do you identify? You want to identify the price action. So what I usually do here is I come to the four hours chart. Okay. On the four hours chart, I'm able to identify is the price going down? Is the price going high? Is the price consolidating? Right? Or how or is it on a downtrend? How is the what, what action? What is the price action? And that's why I say it is very, very important for you to go back and take a look at the video that we recorded on the price action and trend line. So the price action here, what you're seeing the price is doing is it has actually broke, it's actually creating what you are calling higher lows, okay? So this is where the price really had a change, okay? It had a change in terms of it was going down and then it created this, um, this was the first, High, this was the first lower low, then it created a higher high, and then it created a higher high again. It went all the way, came here, created a higher high, came here, created a higher high. You see, these are main higher highs. So these are, this is on the four hours chart, okay? This is on the four hours chart. So you want to identify, let's identify the trend line, okay? Let's get the trend line here. This is the trend line. It is actually moving in an upwards direction okay it's actually moving in an upwards direction and you can see it has already touched here and it's still moving on the upwards direction so what are you expecting the price to do here what you're expecting the price to do here is continue moving up but it will have some reversal pullbacks okay you can see for example here it went back it had a pullback it went up it had a pullback it went up had a pullback went up had a pullback went up what you're expecting here now is it will definitely come down to this trend line, okay? Most probably to this trend line, and then continue moving up. Or it can break the trend line and continue moving down, come here back, 
all right, on a reversal and continue moving down. So if you identified the price action is an uptrend, so how do you get now your sniper entries? So pay attention to these exactly this because this is exactly what you usually do. So you from your four hour time frame, you want to zoom in into the one hour time frame to the one hour time frame to really still get a confirmation on the one hour time frame. It still confirms that the price action is still on an uptrend. And just pay attention here because when you start getting into the lower time frames, this is why I told you don't start with the lower time frames because they are very, very volatile. You'll find on the lower time frame, the price is still moving up. But before you identify that the type, the price is moving up, you see, you have a lot of volatility. You can see here is up, he's up. Actually, when you take a look at it from here, you can think that the price is actually moving down. Okay, you can think that this is a downtrend, but when you looked at the four hour time frame here, you can clearly see that this is a clear uptrend. But on the 15 hour time frame, it looks like it's a downtrend. So what happens if you get into the 15 hour time frame and you try and you start um taking your actions when it comes when you, and you start selling when we have a lot of buyers in the marketplace. You'll be able to blow up your account and you'll be able to lose a lot of trades. So what you want to do is come here now. You are now in the 15 minutes chart. You want to still zoom in on the one minute chart. So on the one minute chart now, this is where the chart is very, very, very like crazy, crazy volatile. You cannot tell if it's consolidated, it goes up, right? There's a time it goes up. There's a time it consolidates, there's a time it goes down, consolidates, goes up. It's everywhere, it's everywhere, it's everywhere on the one minute time frame. So that is why it's very, very, very important to start with the four hours time frame. And the reason why you're starting with the four hours time frame here is so that you can identify what actions do you want to take? What actions do you want to take? You want to always trade based on the price action. I want to repeat this. You want to always trade based on the price action. So what I'll do here now is I'll identify that we have a lot of buyers in the marketplace and the price action here is all about buying, 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 buying. I'll be shooting another video whereby I usually take advantage of these reversals, pullbacks, all right, whereby I can sell when still the price is on an uptrend, when you have still a price action that is moving up, you can still leverage on this, uh, you can still leverage on these pullbacks. So what you want to do now here is you want to take a look at the most recent candle that is forming on the higher time frame. So what happens is when you look at this candle, it is a green candle. But when you get into the one hour time frame, you're actually zooming in into this candle to see what things are actually going on, what things are actually going on inside the candle. So let's zoom in, okay? On, we, on our one hour, okay, we'll find that we're still having like, um, you still have, so this is how you calculate it. So from here, just calculate four hours, one, two, three, four. Okay, this is one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour. So maybe the, the two of them, the two candlesticks here on the one hour, this is what, this is what forms, this is what forms this candle, okay? The last candle. So from the one hour, you still want to check Inside the one hour, right? Inside this last candle, inside here, the one hour candle, what some of the activities that are actually going on and you get into the 15 minutes, okay? Get to the 15 minutes. You can see this is clear. This clearly shows you that there's a pullback. You can see we have, um, you have, you have the RSI, you have all these indicators. This is now where you leverage the pullbacks, okay? But the best way is always trade with the price action. When you get now to the one minute to be able to take a look at what exactly is doing, you can see it's actually going down. It's actually going down, 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 down. So where was the play? Where was the best place to actually enter on this? trade right leveraging the pullback the best place was actually uh let's draw this line here it was the best place to enter this trade was actually here okay you can see here this is where it was the best place to enter this trade so this is where i leverage the pullbacks okay 
right now what's happening on the four hours, we are in a position whereby the price has already gone up. And we have, when you have more, when you have buyers, when you have buyers into the marketplace, what is happening here, just take a look at this, is this one has reached, um, the price here reached a level of resist, uh, a level of resistance, okay, which was here. The price actually reached a level of resistance, okay? And what is happening here, we will have a lot of pullbacks, okay? Pull back. So the price, if the price goes up, it has to go down. If it goes up, it has to go down. So we have a lot of pullbacks here. And what will happen here is on the one minute uh, chart, you can really, really leverage, okay, by looking at some of the previous levels whereby there were support levels broken and now became a resistance level. So you can focus on now when they will have a pullback here, when price gets here now, you can be able now to say it will still go down because on the four hour chart now, what you're experiencing is a lot of pullbacks. And when you enter the trade here, you'll be able to leverage and you'll be able to be inside the trade. So let's, look at, let's take a look at uh, another currency, AUD card, okay? So what's happening here with um, AUD, Audi card is, this is the four hours time frame. You can see these are some of the notifications that I've put to be able to say when the price reaches here, please just notify me so that you can be able to get into my trades. So what you want to look at here is was, was, this was a consolidation period, okay? The price was consolidating. It was not deciding if it was going down or it is going up. So it broke up the most recent uh, resistance level, it broke it, and the res resistance uh, the resistance area was actually confirmed previously. So it means that it has broken a major level of resistance. So what will happen is we'll have pullbacks, okay, here, we'll have a pullback, okay? When the price stops going up, we'll have a pullback that comes here now to the new level or to this new level of support. So what I'll do is I'll wait for the price to get into this new level of support. And when it gets into this new level of support, what I'm expecting is it's a bounce back, okay? Get a pullback and then the price will continue moving up. So how do you leverage now this? Now, when you understand this, you can be able to get into the lower time frames with your mind that now you want to get into selling, selling, selling because you want to leverage on the pullbacks. So you get into the one hour uh, to be able to take a look at what is really happening in the one hour. You can see it's still preparing itself to get into a pullback or still go up. Okay, so um, get into the 15 minutes chart. Let's see what's happening in the 15 minutes chart. You see the price is still going up, but you see also on the RSI, it's overbought, right? So all these are good indicators that the price can actually, you can leverage in terms of selling. So you get into the one minute chart. So all you want to do in your mind is you are looking for chances to sell. And you can see this is a very good chance to sell here. For example, here I can get here, let's say $100 and say in the next five minutes, the price will have gone down okay so and i'll have a good entry point here whereby i will get my profits from here so that's how you get sniper entries when it comes into analyzing the um charts in terms of different time frames in terms of really getting into uh binary trading so you can see here we've already taken this it may go up but we know in the four hours time frame what we are really expecting it to do is go down. So if you want, that's an aggressive move I've made there, but if you want a crazy, crazy confirmation is um, look at the nearest level of, uh, the if, if this one has reached a level of resistance here. So let's draw a line, let's draw an horizontal line here. Okay, so you draw this horizontal line, you can see this also, this has been able to be in an area of resistance that was broken, confirmed a couple of times, and this is where the price is. So if you want now to really have a good, good real confirmation, there's no doubt about this, the price will actually go down, but hey, by the way, 
um, it's usually not 100%. It may still break this level and you wait for a pullback still and then the price goes up. But for this, if you really want to get a good confirmation is you can wait for still more for hours and you still like put your notification around um, just a bar below this one and see if you'll be able to have a red candle. When you get a red candle that comes up to here, you can be able now to get into the one minute. Uh, you can be able to get into the one minute time frame, and you'll really be able now to get a confirmation of a down, right? So you always lose. Sometimes you can lose in trades. Sometimes you can win. Just depending on your level of techniques and skills in terms of analyzing. But what happens is. If you understand this sniper entry technique, you'll really be able to make profit in terms of trading binary. Hope you got value. Always remember to hit that subscription button below. Always remember to drop a comment on some of the things that you haven't understood. And I have a private group whereby I usually share my signals. I usually connect you to some of the experts that I learn uh, trading about. And it's a whole group whereby we really focus on growing and really making money. My goal is to help everyone in my team to at least minimum on a very bad day to make $20 each and every single day. Check a, take a look at the links in the description below and join the group. Always send me a DM at DM Wabo on Instagram and um, have a lovely trade. You are just one step away from getting a profit. Have a good time. Be blessed.